I was surprised recently when I realized that Creo Simulate Lite is no longer installed automatically when you install Creo Parametric. And don't confuse Creo Simulate Lite with Creo Simulation Live, which is the new joint venture between ANSYS and PTC. Creo Simulate Lite is the next generation of uh, Mechanica and Creo Simulate Lite gives you that geometric element analysis capability built right into Creo Parametric. And if you click on the Applications tab and the Simulate button is grayed out, that means that you don't have Creo Simulate Lite installed. So I'm going to install that on my computer. So first I'm going to exit out of Creo Parametric and I'm in Creo Parametric 3.0. One thing I want to mention is that if you go to the support site, you can download the latest build code of Creo Parametric. And I'm going to take advantage of updating my installation to M180 to install Creo Parametric, excuse me, Creo Simulate Lite at the same time. And also from PTC support site, you can view the product calendar to see when the next build codes are going to be installed. So I've actually already downloaded the latest build code of Creo Parametric 3.0 and unzipped it. And so now I'm going to navigate to that folder. And you're going to find the setup.exe file. And I highly recommend that rather than just double clicking on it, right click on it and choose run as administrator. I've noticed with helping other people that sometimes if you just try to run it as your regular user, Sometimes you might have difficulty installing it. And so I'm going to upgrade existing software and then click the next button. You're going to accept the license agreement and check the box to say that you're agreeing with the export agreement. Then click the next button. And I've got my license set up in here. And when I'm doing this install, make sure that Creo Simulate is checked in here probably you can go with the rest of the other options. You'll notice that when the Creo Simulate is going to be installed, it's going to be installed as a new application. And at this point, all I have to do is click the install button and it's going to progress. And so let's give that a moment and we'll come back when it's finished. Okay, my installation has completed. Here it says diagnostic tools is unsuccessful because I don't install the diagnostic tools. So I will click the finish button. And when I installed, I got a couple extra icons on my desktop for Creo Simulate and Creo Model Check. You can just delete those. I don't need them at all. So let's just take them off of my screen. And also what I like to do is go to my icon for the version that I just updated and go to properties. And when you update the install, it's going to change the start in directory to the documents folder. And I want to make sure that it points back to my default working directory, which for me is C slash Creo. And I'll click OK. Yeah, I have administrator rights. OK, so now I will launch Creo Parametric 3.0. Yeah, let's allow access. Oops. Allow access. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to start working. Let's close the resource center and let's open up the file that I had open before. Now when I click on the Applications menu, you'll notice that Simulate and Simulate Results are no longer grayed out. And if I click on Simulate, oh, it gave me that error message, but let's just choose Creo Simulate Lite, click the OK button, and I get the process guide which indicates that I am indeed in Creo Simulate. And so that shows you how to update your Creo Parametric and install Creo Simulate at the same time. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and also click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.